video we're covering the installation of the 52 inch Hampton Bay Lilycrest ceiling fan. If you found this video, you might be stuck in your own installation and you're looking for some guidance, some help. We're here to do just that. We're going to cover this installation from unboxing to turning it on and everything in between. If you want to just fast forward to a certain point in the installation, all the links are below. Just click on the link and it will take you to the, each step. Alright, if you find this video helpful, which I know you will, please click like and subscribe at the end and that will help other people find it as well. Just a couple of notes before we get started. You want to make sure that the outlet box is marked acceptable for fan support. If you're hanging this fan in place of a light kit, chances are the outlet box isn't acceptable for fan support. If it's thin or plastic, you're going to want to swap that out before beginning. Also, please turn the electricity off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. Make sure those lines aren't live before beginning. If you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, this is an easy project, but comfort level you know, counts. So you're going to want to call a licensed electrician if you're not comfortable with electricity. We're going to walk you through each step, so hang with us. We'll get you through it. All right, so as you can see here, we've already unpacked the fan. We've got the manual open. We're going to go through the parts, make sure we have everything, and that way we don't get stuck along the way. So first up, you have the mounting bracket. This comes with a slide-on mounting bracket. Makes installation really easy to the, to the outlet box. That mounting bracket comes pre-assembled inside the canopy with the canopy ring. Next up, you have the ball and down rod assembly. You have the switch housing. You have the motor collar cover. You have five of these AccuArm blade arms. These are cool because the screws are pre-assembled, so you don't have to try to line up and get the screws in there. They're already there. They line up right into the motor housing. Super easy installation. Got the blades. The blades are quick install blades. So those are just going to snap right onto the blade arm. And again, we'll show you in detail each of these steps. And then you have the motor. So um, some, some tools we're going to need before we get to the tools. Here's the hardware pack. The hardware pack has a rubber gasket on it for close to ceiling installation. The ceiling fan is a tri-mount fan, so it can be hung without the down rod on a close or you know, low ceiling. It can be hung with the included down rod on a regular standard ceiling, or it can be hung on a higher angled ceiling with an extension down rod that's sold separately. But this is going to have that rubber gasket, it's going to have some plastic wire nuts, a hanger pin and locking pin, and a pull chain extension. Since this fan is wet rated, at the base of the fan on the switch plate, there's a rubber plug. This rubber plug needs to be removed, you just poke that out, and that will allow for screwdriver access so that you could attach the blade arms to the base of the motor. Once you're done installing the blade arms, You'll simply replace that rubber plug and that'll prevent water intrusion. Some tools we're going to need for this project, just a Phillips head screwdriver, some wire cutters and strippers, some electrical tape. We like to use that line voltage tester to make sure our wires aren't live. And of course a ladder. So I think we have everything here. A couple notes about the fan before we begin. It is an indoor outdoor fan. It is wet rated so you can hang it on an open pergola. You can hang it on a Whatever, doesn't matter, it can get totally wet and not have any issues. Ceiling fan is also light kit adaptable. You just pop out this center plug here, put your light kit on, wire it up, super easy. Just one last quick note, if you are going to install this fan with a light kit and you're installing it outdoors, you have to make sure that that light kit is rated for outdoor use, either wet or damp rated depending on your installation. If you're installing it indoors, it's compatible with any universal ceiling fan like it. Alright, so we got everything here, we're ready to begin. The mounting bracket comes pre-assembled inside the canopy with the canopy ring attached. To remove the mounting bracket, you'll first need to twist the canopy ring counterclockwise to expose the screws on the canopy. There's a standard screw on each side of the canopy and a J-slotted screw on either side. To remove the mounting bracket, First, remove and save the two standard screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Next, loosen but do not remove the two screws in the J slots on either side of the canopy. Once those two screws are loosened, simply twist the mounting bracket to remove it from the canopy. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. 
there are two slots in the mounting bracket that will align with the two screws in the outlet box. Just align the slots of the mounting bracket with those screws and slide to hold in place. This is just a demonstration of how it's done. To install the mounting bracket, use a screwdriver to loosen but not remove the two screws in the outlet box. With the flat side of the mounting bracket facing towards the ceiling, feed the house wires through the mounting bracket and align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws in the outlet box and then simply slide into place. Then use the screwdriver to completely tighten both of the outlet box screws to secure the mounting bracket to the ceiling. Make sure that both outlet box screws are completely tightened before proceeding with the installation. This next section is for close to ceiling installation without the downrod. If installing with a downrod, skip ahead to preparing the fan for downrod installation. Before beginning, make sure that both of the set screws on the motor collar are completely tightened. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove and save three of the six screws on the top of the motor housing. This is just every other screw. Once those three screws are removed and saved, locate the rubber gasket in the hardware pack. Feed the wires through the rubber gasket so that it rests on top of the motor housing. You'll notice the large holes in the rubber gasket will align with the three screws that remain in the motor and the small holes will align with the screw holes from the screws that were just removed. Next, remove the decorative ring from the bottom of the canopy. The ring is held in place by three studs inside the canopy. Simply press each of those studs with your thumb to remove the decorative ring. Next, feed the wires through the canopy ring. Make sure that the canopy ring slots are facing towards the ceiling and the smooth side is facing towards the motor. Place the canopy ring on the motor and then feed the wires through the smallest opening of the canopy so that the largest opening is facing towards the ceiling. You'll notice there are notched cutouts inside the canopy. Those cutouts will align with the screws that remain in the motor and the small holes will align with the screw holes for the screws that were removed and saved. Secure the canopy to the motor using the three screws that were removed and saved. Insert the screw into the screw hole and use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten the screw. Repeat this process for the two remaining screws. Make sure all three screws are completely tightened. Before hanging the fan, it's a good idea to trim excess wires. To trim the wires, you'll measure about a foot from the top of the canopy this is shown with the down rod, but the process is the same. Measure a foot from the top of the canopy and then use a pair of wire cutters to cut the wires. Then use the strippers to strip off about three quarters of an inch of insulation from each wire. Once the wires are stripped, twist each end to make sure that there are no loose strands. Now the fan is ready to be hung. Before hanging the fan, it's important to note the hook on the mounting bracket that will align with the screw hole in the canopy. To hang the fan, you'll lift the assembly up and using the screw hole, not the J-slot, hang the fan on the hook. To hang the fan, lift the assembly to the ceiling and note the location of the screw hole in the canopy and the hook on the mounting bracket. You'll lift the fan assembly up to the ceiling and place the hook through the standard screw hole, not the J-slot. This will hold the fan in place for wiring. Do not leave the fan unattended while it is hanging like this. This next section covers installation with the down rod. If using close to ceiling method, skip ahead to wiring the fan. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen but do not remove the two set screws on the motor collar. Next, unwrap the fan wires by removing the rubber band and then gently stretch them out. Once the wires are stretched out, it's a good idea to twist the ends of the wires together. This will make routing the wires through the down rod much easier. Next, route the wires through the canopy ring. Make sure the slot openings of the canopy ring are facing towards the ceiling and the smooth side is touching the motor. Run the wires through the canopy ring until it rests on top of the motor. Next, gently pull the green ground cable from inside the ball and down rod assembly. Then place the canopy onto the ball and down rod assembly. 
Next, slide the decorative motor collar cover onto the downrod so that the smallest hole touches the canopy and the largest hole is facing the end of the downrod. Route the wires through the bottom of the downrod so that they exit the ball portion and gently pull them through until the downrod meets the motor collar. Align the holes of the downrod with the holes in the motor collar and insert the downrod into the motor collar. Then using the hanger pin, insert the hanger pin through the hole in the motor collar so it exits the opposite side. Insert the locking pin in the end of the hanger pin to secure it. The pin will snap in place when properly inserted. Then, use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten both set screws on the motor collar. Once the set screws are tight, slide the decorative motor collar cover down until it meets the fan. Before hanging the fan, it's a good idea to cut the excess wire. This will make installation easier. To do so, measure about a foot from the top of the ball and downrod assembly and then use a pair of wire cutters to cut the wire. Then use wire strippers to strip off about three quarters of an inch of the insulation from each wire. Once the wires are stripped, twist the ends to make sure that there are no loose strands. Now the fan is ready to be hung. Before hanging the fan, it's important to note the tab inside the mounting bracket that will align with the slot on the ball and downrod assembly. When hanging the fan, you'll insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the fan assembly until you feel the slot of the ball engage that tab in the mounting bracket. The fan will drop slightly when properly seated. This will prevent fan wobble. This is just a demonstration. To hang the fan, lift the entire assembly to the ceiling and note the location of the slot in the ball and the tab in the mounting bracket. Slide the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the assembly until you feel the slot engage that tab. The fan will drop slightly when properly seated and the fan will rotate no further. Begin wiring the fan by taking the green ground wire from the ball and downrod assembly and twisting that together with the green wire from the mounting bracket. If installing close to ceiling, there will only be the green ground wire from the mounting bracket. Connect those to the bare copper house wire. This is the ground connection. Once those wires are twisted together, secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the fan and connect that wire to the white wire from the house supply lines. This is the neutral connection. Twist those two wires together and secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Finish the wiring by taking the blue and black wires from the fan and twisting those two wires together. Once those wires are twisted together, connect those to the black house wire. This is the power connection. Secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Once all the wiring connections have been made, gently tuck the wires up into the mounting bracket and outlet box to make room for the canopy to attach. This section covers attaching the canopy for close to ceiling installation. If using the downrod, skip ahead to attaching the canopy downrod installation. To attach the canopy, lift the fan off the hook and then align the J slots of the canopy with the screws that were loosened in the mounting bracket. Then simply press up to the ceiling and twist the fan to engage the screws in the J-slots and hold the fan in place. Use the screws that were removed in the first step and a Phillips head screwdriver and insert the screw into the standard hole of the canopy. Completely tighten that screw and repeat for the other screw. Once those screws are tightened, completely tighten the two screws in the J-slots. Make sure all four screws are completely tightened. This section covers attaching the canopy for downrod installation. If installing without the downrod, skip ahead to attaching the canopy ring. To attach the canopy, align the J-slots of the canopy with the two screws that were loosened in the mounting bracket and then slide the canopy up and press up and twist to engage the screws in the J-slots. Once the canopy is set, 
Use the screws that were removed in the first step and insert the screw into the standard screw hole of the canopy and tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this for the other standard screw. Once those screws are tightened, completely tighten the two screws in the J slots. Make sure all four screws are completely tightened. To attach the canopy ring, align the slots inside the canopy ring with the four screws on the canopy. Then slide the canopy ring up to the ceiling and then press up and twist to engage the screws in the slots of the canopy ring. Before attaching the blade arms, you'll need to remove and save the rubber plug from the switch plate. Simply press through the top of the switch plate to remove the rubber plug. This hole allows screwdriver access to remove the rubber motor stops and then attach the blade arms. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, insert the screwdriver through the access hole and then remove the five rubber motor stops. You can discard these motor stops once removed. These pieces just ensure the motor doesn't move during shipment. Before attaching the blade arms, it's important to note that the blade arms have captive screws pre-installed and an alignment post. This alignment post will align with the long slot in the base of the motor. To attach the blades, simply insert the post into the long slot in the motor and then insert the screwdriver through the access hole in the switch plate. The screws will automatically align with the screw holes in the motor. Completely tighten both screws. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. Make sure all of the blade arm screws are completely tightened before proceeding with the installation. This fan features quick install blades. Note the side of the blade that says this side up. Make sure that side faces towards the ceiling. And then align the keyhole slots with the screws in the blade arm. And then push down and pull away until the locking mechanism snaps in place. This is just a demonstration. To install the blades, make sure the side that says this side up is facing towards the ceiling, and then align the keyhole slots with the screws in the blade arm. Press down and pull away from the fan until the locking mechanism snaps in place. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. Reinsert the rubber plug that was saved into the hole in the switch plate before proceeding. The switch housing attaches to the fan using four screws. These four screw holes in the switch housing will align with the four screws that are pre-assembled inside the switch plate at the base of the fan. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove and save the four screws in the switch plate. Once those screws are removed, connect the switch housing to the fan by plugging the molded adapter plugs together. The clip will snap in place when properly connected. Next, gently tuck the wires into the switch housing and align the four screw holes of the switch housing with the four screw holes from the switch plate. Use the screws that were removed and saved at the beginning of this step and insert the screw into the screw hole and tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this step for the three remaining screws. Make sure all four screws are completely tightened. Remove the protective wrapping from the end of the pull chain at the base of the fan. Connect the pull chain extension to the pull chain from the fan using the Easy Snap connector. This fan has a three speed reversible motor. During the hotter months, a downward airflow creates a cooling effect. During the cooler months, an upward airflow pulls warm air from the ceiling and brings it down into the room for a warming effect. To switch the fan's direction, simply place the reverse switch in the opposite position. The factory default is for a downward airflow. Make sure the fan is off before setting the switch. The fan speed is controlled by the pull chain. 
Pull once for high speed, twice for medium speed, three times for low speed, and once more to turn the fan off. Congratulations, you did it. The ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to sit back, grab a nice cold beverage, and enjoy your new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click like and subscribe, and that'll help other people find it as well. And as we always say around here, keep it breezy.